Well, give me your Canic today here, and your Canic we have a 2017 Jaguar XE. This has the 3.0 liter V6 motor that is supercharged. So we have an engine light on, and so we are going to check the engine code and see what it is, and then replace the, the center to start with. And if there's any other issues that come back on, then that's when you may have to look into something deeper. So with the OBD2 scanner hooked up, the UCAN2, we'll go into diagnostic. We'll select the vehicle, which is a Jaguar. And then we have the smart VIN. So let's communicate with the vehicle. It gets our uh, VIN number information. Of course, your vehicle has to be on in the uh, run position, but not started to read the codes. Then we're going to go into diagnosis, and we're going to do control modules to select them instead of the quick scan. If quick scan, it'll check every module, but we just need to check the engine module and the powertrain. And then we're going to read the code, and we get into the code, and it's saying we have a P012D. And also there is the temporary turbocharger boost control sensor A, right? So worried about that, but this P012D is a sensor. It senses the amount of air that's coming from the turbocharger or into the turbocharger. And so that's the sensor we're going to locate and remove is that P012D. So first you pop the hood, then you'll be able to um, pop this cover off. We just need to pull this cover and remove. And then the sensor we're looking for is right down in here. So give us the space that we want. We want to squeeze this as a, um, a vacuum line. So we're going to squeeze that clamp and be able to pull up that vacuum line and just easy it up. And then this connector, we can you just pull the back up and then you'll be able to unconnect it. And now we have the connector is undone. Just to give us a little bit more freedom, we will release this connector and then we can now we have some more space in here. And this is the sensor that we're going to replace. So now we have this sensor is what we're going to replace. We need a T30 to be able to undo the bolt that's on the back. Okay, so we've removed that uh, T30 screw or bolt and now we want to pop this sensor out. Now the sensor, you just need to move it back and forth and be pulling up on it. It's got an O-ring that's holding it in there. And then that is the sensor removed. And this is just measuring the air that is coming into the turbocharger. And so you would get a new one of these. And then we go in the reverse order to put this back on and replace it. Also, why you are going ahead to replace this, if you are, you're definitely going to look and visually see that you don't see any vacuum, obvious vacuum leaks that could be causing the sensor to have a misreading. But we start with the sensor first because they're generally uh, cheaper and easier to replace and to rule out that maybe the sensor didn't just go bad versus other components on your vehicle of needing to rip take the whole unit off and all that labor time because it can be just as simple as a little sensor snug that bolt and then be able to put the electric connectors back put those back on then we can put the the vacuum line back on Connect that all up. You can put your cover back on. And then when you're done, you're going to want to go into here and be able to clear out the codes. We need a backup one screen for this model. Now we're going to clear the codes. Yes. Codes have been cleared. You can double check by reading the codes again to see that it's come out. And that one. You're saying temporary, so sometimes you'll need to start the vehicle, let it run a cycle, and that one will clear out. And so that's how you would replace that sensor, which is the P012D, and it's an uh, air sensor that measures the flow of air into the turbocharger. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.